The Supreme Court stepping in to keep Title 42 in place for now as leaders from 19 states, including our next guest, sent an emergency bid warning against ending it. Texas Senator John Cornyn is a ranking member of the Senate Immigration, Citizenship and Border Safety Subcommittee. Senator, you might you have a reprieve for now. What is your sense? This is as bad as it's ever been statistically. But from what in your lifetime, can you put it in perspective? Well, it's never been this bad, and it's entirely predictable. It's, uh, this is something that the Border Patrol talked to me about a year or more ago, including during the previous administration. What happens when this public health title, 42, eventually goes away? Because it's proven to be one of the most effective tools that the Border Patrol has to return people to their home country uh, who aren't claiming asylum. So the Biden administration knew this was coming, and, and apparently has what they say is a secret plan, but I think the secret is they have no plan. 7,000, uh, we've never seen it. They expect 15,000 illegals a day. There was a crisis with President Obama at 2,000. For one month, Trump had it at 4,000. He fixed it, got it low again, but now we're at 8,000. What is it gonna take for every Democrat to understand this is not in the interest of our country? Well, and I was hoping the midterm elections might send a strong message that this is not this is intolerable and the American people weren't going to take it anymore. Unfortunately, Fox seems to be one of the few stations that actually broadcast the reality on the ground. Thank you for that. Uh, but more people need to pay attention and we need to have some people get retired here in Congress who are unwilling to step up uh, and deal with this, including the White House. I want to go over to the second uh, story, and that is social media and the role the FBI is playing. 80 agents at least, interacting with at least 12 former agents, and uh, at least one major outlet, Twitter, uh, spending $3.4 million in trying to suppress foreign entities' role in our 2020 election. It turns out all they were doing was squeezing stories that made President Biden look bad. Your thoughts? Well, this, should, this is not the role of the, uh, of the intelligence community, including the FBI. The FBI is supposed to be looking for foreign adversaries trying to influence our elections or cause disinformation or collect espionage in the United States. That's their appropriate role. But this ongoing relationship with social media companies attempting to censor some information and allow others to go through, uh, it does indicate a bias and it's, uh, it's wrong. It's not a role they should play and it's undermining confidence in the legitimate role of the FBI. When it's starting time to investigate, how, what, it, what changes now that you know all this information about Twitter and what was going on for two years? What changes in your line of questioning, because you have such a legal, great legal mind, what changes? Well, th thanks to uh, Elon Musk for exposing this. Uh, I know he's caught a lot of arrows in the process, uh, but thanks to him for exposing it. I think now that it's reached the light of day, of course, the House is going to be uh, doing a lot of investigations. Unfortunately, we'll be in the minority in the Senate, but we'll continue to press and to make sure that this the government does not have a hand on censoring access to information. That's a violation of the First Amendment. We cannot find one inaccurate story about President Trump or a Republican that the, de that the FBI was scrambling to fix. It only seems about Joe Biden. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, Senator, it's only getting worse, uh, but we're, we're going to continue to pay attention. Senator thank John you. Cornyn, thank you.